so sorry i got cut off i don't know why i got cut off um so ah i don't even know whether to start again okay no i think i'll just start again oh my god <laughs> i've been thrown off balance so today is day 24 i'm so sorry i don't know what happened i got cut off so today is day 24 of devotion it says opportunity should need you prepared um opportunity should meet you prepared and we're talking about hey man and we're talking about um mother kai was talking about esther we looked at the dynamics in the relationship of these three and the most important thing like what we should really hide what we should really take out from it i got cut off for i don't know the reason so i'm just going to kind of go through it again so the, what we should really focus on is opportunity to be prepared some of the things some of the biggest things that we're looking forward to the period of in quote of obscurity that we have is for us to prepare for it you think that oh i want to be this person i want to be that person what does that person look like how do they sound like what do they think like if you're thinking oh i want to be see you in another five five to ten years what does the ceo sound like how does the ceo think like you need to start preparing so that when the opportunity it may not be pretty the opportunities may not come pretty it may, it may just be like maybe they'll just create an office on the side and before you know it you're already there so you need to prepare ahead of the opportunities that you're looking and thinking about um that's really the point of it so let me see let's look at um let's just go through the devotions if you read esther chapter 8 verses 1 to 2 Haman was an a sworn enemy of mordecai he tries to kill mordecai then mordecai you know got involved with esther said esther you need to go and beg the king to help us and the king actually came through for them and what has happened now is that Haman's properties and everything was handed over to Mordecai to manage and if you read up to chapter 10 of Esther you see that the bible records that Mordecai did so many great things if he wasn't prepared how would he have done so many great things so some of the opportunities that we are looking for the reason why God is shielding us from them is because we are not ready we are not ready you want to be a leader you don't know how to talk to people you want to be a leader you don't know how to honor people like how are you how are you when you get there how are you going to do it you want to be a leader if people tell you the truth they hate you just like when you're a leader people will not always agree with you if you say that you're a leader and everybody say yes around you then there's something is not right so some of the things some of the opportunities that we, we think that we are due for and god hasn't put in our path is really because god wants us to work on ourselves a little more so that when we get there we are so prepared and some of the things that make people fall off don't usually follow up and one of the examples i gave before the life cut off was that some of so some of these men of god that keep having issues you know with their congregation and all that because they they were not ready for fame they were not ready to deal with some things and because they came out ahead of themselves they now people are being abused like without knowing it so you need to sort out some things internally in your period of obscurity where nobody knows you before your opportunity comes so that you can handle it properly um so when it comes to career or business there are times when we think we are passed over when it comes to promotions or opportunities it is particularly more painful when we especially yes especially when you think that the person that that is in that position i know more than this person why is this person there and i'm not you know so um you will have your time in spotlight that's just, that's the good thing about about the way god works you will have time but the thing is god is also brilliant in the sense that he doesn't want to expose you before your time um so what is the what what does this mean for you hello what does this mean for you as a person is a young person in career as a young person in business it's fairly common to hear people ask if a person is ready to handle the blessing they have prayed to god for so it is a thought-provoking question think about it before god created man he created the garden of eden before god made the bed the, the sky was already in existence and before god made the fish there was water if you look at the creation story you see that god created the environment before he put the things so opportunity is better maximized when you're prepared for it in other words you need to play the long-term game at every point in time even when it may not be easy to do so seriously that's just the point of it that part or that goal that you have don't get too carried away like think about it what does that thing look like what do i need to have to get there and then you prepare so that when the opportunity comes. in fact people that will be pushing you for it they say ah no i think you are okay i think you are really i think you're really good you should go for this thing because they see it the the position is not really the end goal because we live in an we live in a time where anybody can be you know when i was when i started doing like fintech work 
I always assume that co-founders were actual co-founders, co-founders. But I found out recently that you could actually be employed as a co-founder. So you can get any title, you can get any position, you can just slap your slap any title on yourself. But do you really have what it takes to hold that position? A lot of people are in places that they are not qualified for. And the problem is that once you are in a place where you are not prepared for, the damage doesn't just end with you. And it affects other people around you. A badly prepared leader talks down on his followers. A badly prepared leader will not recognize potential. An exa example I always use is Emmanuel Macron. He was, I think at a point, he was maybe like an intern or a special advisor somewhere. He was, he practically grew through the ranks because he saw people and people were invested to say, you know what, you know, go this way, go this way, go this way. This is the path to politics. So when we have like, these things have they ricochet they have like um, um should i say multiple effects like domino effects you just think that oh i'm just i just want a position i just want to do this but that one month spend in that position where you made somebody somebody else's life a living hell that person will never ever forget about it so um so opportunity is best maximizing and prepared for it so don't don't feel so bad when you feel like you're working so hard and some of the opportunities you think you deserve are not coming your way it may just be god's way of preserving you so that you are fully cooked when the opportunity comes so let's pray you know at the end of every devotion we we, we have prayer points usually there are four the first two are thanksgiving so i want you to thank god for the grace to develop the level of discipline required to achieve success in your career so yeah you, you are somewhere now you are probably been going to work 8 a.m the same day you've been attending meetings you've been whether in your business you've grown your business to a point so thank god for giving you the grace to be disciplined, the grace to be focused, the grace to have goals and say, you know, for you to have goals and say, I will read an article a day, I will do this twice a week, I will do something in a quarter, it's not easy for you to have the discipline to do that. So thank God for that. Then thank God for opportunities that it appeared you were passed over. Perhaps God was giving you a chance to be more prepared. So thank God for opportunities you felt you were really ready for, but you were passed over. And maybe those opportunities allowed you to take a second look at yourself and reflect and say, what did I do wrong? So thank God for opportunities that you we were passed over because it was God giving you um, a chance to be more prepared. Then the third prayer point is for you to thank God or declare that you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit of which self-control is a vital component one of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control in some versions it's called discipline so you, for you to be able to prepare yourself for you to be mentally and physically ready emotionally ready for some things you need to take some hard decisions and it means you need to be disciplined so maybe rather than you watching K-drama or you know just faffing around sometimes it would mean that you need to, to maybe study more if you have to do certifications and exams and things like that, it will mean that maybe every time there is a friend's hangout, you have to probably sacrifice some friend's hangout to do that. That's discipline. If you know that you are working towards something in the office, it probably means that you need to think about others more. Where you are thinking about yourself before. You need to start thinking about your other people more. Where you are going into top, into mid-level and top management. You need to start asking how can i help the business not really how do i increase my salary how do you increase the profit line so your your thinking changes you need discipline to do that so declare that you know self-control the fruit of the spirit is a vital component of your life then finally submit your ambition and desires to god um i don't know it depends you have a vision but you can put it in front of you while you're praying or you can just list it while you're praying and say god i intend to be this i intend to be that I really submit my ambitions and desires to you. Um, I want you to prepare me so that I can be light. The Bible says that we are like a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. We are salt that adds value to things. And so ask God, say, God, I submit myself to you. Help me to be salt. Help me to be light. I want to um, I want to draw people closer to you. I want to excel so that I can bring people and draw people closer to you. Um yeah, so take action by doing this today. One of the things we usually do when we are done with the devotion is to have a key action point for the day. So meditate on the anchor verse. Yes, actually. Ezekiel 36, 26. God speaking says, I will give you a new spirit and I will give you a new heart. I will take out your stony, stubborn heart and give you a tender, responsive heart. Um, so with a responsive heart, you're able to be more disciplined, seriously. And then, so what are you going to do today to to improve your career your business what you should do is do you feel stuck in your current state do you feel like you're not making progress if yes then decide to approach your situation as a priority class for the next big thing that you have in your career so do you feel so do you feel like 
oh my god i've been on the same level for how many years i don't think i'm making progress my friends my colleagues have gone for masters i haven't gone and all that so maybe let's say for example what you feel is like oh i feel stuck my colleagues have gone abroad have gone to school for further education but i haven't gone so what does that tell you so you say okay it means that i feel like i need to improve my professional qualifications so you begin to ask yourself what are the options open to me to travel abroad for masters can i do my masters in nigeria university um can i do maybe professional qualification if i don't want to do an, an LLA, maybe i can do if i don't want to do a master's degree maybe i can do a professional certificate like maybe all those chartered institutes you have icon you have ixan i think you have for directors i think you have for bankers you almost have chartered institutes for almost anything and i think even if you're not you can check um udemy or something some of them have none something they call nano degrees you know so think about it so even so what's why well, i feel stuck because i don't think i've got international professional qualifications what can i do what are my options what's, what's my budget what's my salary you have to ask yourself these questions they begin to map out steps to take care to take care of it but if maybe it could be like well i don't feel like i'm being properly utilized in my office then you think about it like okay so this is this is another example so if you think about like okay i don't think i'm properly utilized i think i can do much more let's say for example you're like an executive assistant so you can think about what what else can i do i'm on the side so you can tell your boss look i know i'm, exec I'm an executive assistant but i notice that we don't have a proper hospitality i'm like maybe if you have guests who set out the tea and stuff like that I say that you can maybe maybe take a few courses i don't know read about it online how to set up for meetings and all and say that going forward you want to be able you want to if they have a meeting they should let you know so that you can make arrangement for hospitality and all that and you tell them that oh um it could be that you can learn about it what are you know cheap because office you know offices they are also trying to cut because they don't want to spend money buying chicken republic and the place all the time so you can tell them don't worry you know you can go to lagos island or walk into your fancy store and think, think about things that you can used to for hospitality while you're waiting for while your guests while guests come to your boss so i don't know if these three points of mine make a lot of sense for example you know but take stock of your current state what is making you feel stuck and think about with what i have you know the widow in the bible that had only a pot of oil and the bible says the prophet told her to go and keep borrowing pots so if you have a pot of oil what can you spill those things what, what are the vessels you can borrow to spill to spill oil into them it could be taking another course it could be um trying to um, look for more responsibilities in your office and all that i, I know that you know you may not be paid for that vision but remember that it's for yourself it's for yourself so that you're able to do more things and all that and you can improve in your career and business so that when opportunities that you feel fit you come you have a track record and even before you say can i people are even very happy to recommend you so with these few points of mine i hope i've been able to convince you and not confuse you <laughs> and the examples of course that i give i hope that is so day 25 is the death of your enemy will not always be your salvation that will be tomorrow 12 30 i can't wait to do this again with you and as i'm counting down to also come bring this devotion to an end if you don't have a copy of the devotion it's available on seller and amazon make sure you get a copy god bless you as you do so see you tomorrow and make sure you join with a friend tomorrow bye Mine.